Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we have another one that's not one of my usual topics to cover, but Commenter Mori has been constantly asking recently about this song getting covered. And I do know the singer Purnell because I've heard other songs she's worked on, and I've never heard anything from Stellar Blade. It never really crossed my path at all. I, of course, know the game existed, but I've never played it, and I've never even experienced much of the gameplay aside from, like, a trailer or two. So I really don't know what the songs are going to sound like in this world and i'm kind of interested so why not listen to a version of a song from one of those games sung by the original top liner that sounds pretty sick to me so without further ado let's go oh it's opera not my specialty <laughs> but i do love it I love the emotion. She's like putting her hands into it, really getting into it. I knew Purnell had to have some sort of traditional training. I didn't know it was operatic, though. That's pretty sick. Totally makes sense, though, in hindsight. And man, if she's not like traditionally trained, Boy, does she fool me. <laughs> I'm gonna end up listening more than I am gonna be speaking. It's one of those songs. It's really cool just watching her, her like mouth shapes, her phonemes are so interesting. Ooh, ooh. Oh, drums, okay. Now we're getting into my specialty. All right, let's go. <laughs> Mm. Ooh, we're going like electronic rock here. Mm. Okay, synth wavy. All right. I'm really gonna, I'm gonna have a lot of fun talking about this one. bunch of little things mostly about her performance i think Ooh, the halftime Ooh, get him She opened her mouth that wide, Jesus. <laughs> Getting the mouth shapes for opera is so important. Obviously, she knows that. But everyone does them just a little bit differently, so it's really, really interesting to watch it. Beautiful, beautiful tone on the under part there. So smooth, dude. She makes it look so effortless. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Ooh. 
who that gave me a chill there at the end just how it left off man okay so throwing out my initial thoughts on this song it's of course gorgeous and while i'm not a an operatic singer or anything i don't really have that profession or that training i love the sound that opera has and just the the pure raw emotion that opera gives there's so much melancholic energy and so much of opera out there and that's just kind of where a lot of the emotional toll seems to be taken from in opera and that tracks with the stories usually told through it and this one's no different this had this beautiful haunting sound just engulfing your ears the whole way through you're just like man what's gonna be happening next where is this going who are we learning about and you want to learn more and then it just evolves into this like pseudo rock transition that goes into this like synth wavy rhythm that's happening it's just so cool i love it when songs blend genres like this stuff from old and new especially it's such a neat sound to hear those worlds clashing and colliding in such a beautiful cacophony of noise i love it so much but if we're going to be talking specifically about the singer i want to preface that like i have said a few times i'm not an operatic vocalist in any way shape or form i just appreciate the art form if you want opinions from someone who actually knows what they're talking about i highly recommend going to marco meatball i saw that he had a video on this on the recommended right after mine and i'm like okay cool so go watch his if you haven't somehow i'm sure he has way better insight given that that's actually his profession and his training background is in opera i don't have that i'm just a guy with a drum kit and a dream so <laughs> but i have done a lot of singing in my life i mostly did theater and singing on stage for musicals and i wanted to talk a little bit just mostly about her performance in the video here pernell has some very interesting phoneme shapes and for those who don't know what phoneme are it's just the mouth shapes basically that's a term more used for drawing and animation that carries through that profession for me but it can of course be applied to this and the way that she just kind of slacks her jaw around there's so much open tone to that there's just not much of a chance for her teeth to connect in a lot of these really long drawn out strung out notes there's no reason to there's no reason to pinch there's no reason to close your mouth and a lot of them seem to even have her lower jaw kind of protruding out and to be honest i'm really not sure if that's on purpose like she's trying to make that specific shape with her mouth in order to get a certain sound out but there's also the possibility that that is just the way her jaw sits. Some people just have a further forward protruding jaw and it's totally natural. Obviously the mouth in itself is a sound chamber and what's in it has to get out and the way that you shape your mouth changes all of that. So I feel like a lot of this is mostly just her doing things on purpose in order to get specific tones out, especially those really dark vowel sounds, these awes and ah. Uh, like that you want to have a lot of space a lot of room for that air to take up because of course once it's out there you can't really change the way the sound is shaped so you have to make sure you do that before it leaves the mouth that's the whole goal and she's doing that a bunch in this if you didn't watch that specifically like i was go back and watch the video a little bit you can really see her just kind of slack in her draw around like making sure there are certain tones happening. It kind of looks like a yawn too, because that's kind of what happens when you yawn. It creates that giant open sound that you get when you yawn. It's just doing that, but kind of on purpose and a little bit more control. The other obvious thing she's doing is just keeping her posture very up straight, back straight, and just allowing all that air to flow very smoothly through the lungs, out the mouth. You wanna make sure you have enough diaphragm control and lifting up your chest and everything is gonna help with that. You're lifting up all of this compressed space down in your lower stomach where your diaphragm is, and it just helps all that power protrude out that much more. More. Singing from the diaphragm is one of those time-tested age-old things that you have to do in order to get certain amounts of power and she's no different doing this. But aside from those details, I really don't have much to say about this one other than what I said earlier about it just being beautiful and I love this blend of sounds. I am in no way in the right to be able to try and dissect a song like this. It's not my wheelhouse but I love it so much and I will definitely be listening to this one a few more times. It makes me want to try Stellar Blade a little bit 
it. I don't know if I will, but it definitely gets me to want to. And that is saying something for me, the guy who doesn't play any games ever. But with that, I think I'll end the video. So thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to request something, by all means, drop it down in the comments below and I will do my best as always to get to it. And otherwise, if you just like this video and you want to follow me and support me for more in the future, you know how to do all that. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.